All right, so now what I want to do is I want to make the ultra glide fins. So I need to just make silicon rubber. Perfect. Now all I have to do is take my fins off. Upgrade the fins. Now I can move fast without the sea glide. This is the fastest you can move. I'll show you how. Uh, I'll show you the differences between the speeds. Take off the uh, glide fins. This is how you move normally in the water with just your feet, with no fins whatsoever. Just that's his normal movement. Here's with the ultra glides. Much better. And of course they also help when you have the sea glide. So I think the next thing I should do is try to build the prawn suit. I think that's my goal right now. Or should I go for the Neptune gantry? I, sh I think I can actually do this one easier. So I just need plate steel ingot and a copper wire and lubricant. Okay. Okay, we got the plate still done. We need a lubricant. What else did I say? I gotta find some copper wire. Of course. I should really show the thermal blade in action. See? Picked up cook. Immediately cooked. Every time I'm looking for ores, the sun sets. What is up with me and that luck? Oh no, it's a solar eclipse this time. Oh, cool. You get to see that. Wait a couple of seconds. <laughs> That's uranite. I can always use that later. I usually need that for my second base. I always use nuclear power around the second base because I usually build it in the Lost River Zone. Please be copper. Well, that's one. I got lucky on that. Finally. Hey, leave my ship alone. Perfect. All right, now we can make a gantry. All right, let's see. All right, so we got one thing done. Uh, what do we need? Oh, we need the Neptune boosters, need the aerogel, nickel ore, which is a pain in the ass and you have to find the Lost River. Aerogel is the gel sacks and the things. I can do that in the wiring kit. So right now I can't build this until I can get the nickel ore in the Lost River. So that'll be one of my major goals. Can I use the gantry without the rocket in place right now? Let's see. Elevator, call elevator, cool. Well, it's over here. Gives you a better view. Cool. That's good. Alright, so we can use the gantry. I assume we would die, obviously, if we fell here. I like it. It has a nice little antenna. That's useful. That's a nice view. Cool. Yeah, the 2D fish love me. Yeah, I know, right? Can I build a water filtration unit? I want to see if I can. Aerogel. Okay. Let's take one. Thank you. Can I build a... Yeah. Let's do make the second one right here. Let's make the aerogel. Uh, copper wire. Oh, I need to find two more copper. Perfect. All right, let's do it. Let's make this first. There's no way to get to the upper area until I have a ladder. All right. Okay. Uh, you can put it anywhere in the corners. It doesn't matter where. But I don't want to... If this is the back of the... Yeah, I don't know why it allows you to do this. It doesn't make any sense why you're allowed to do that. Oh, 
make it over here. This uses a ton of power. But that'll be the next challenge that I have to deal with. See? It slowly builds, uh, makes water for you. It takes about 20 in real time minutes, not in game minutes. And it will make a huge bottle of water, which I think fills up most of your water. And you get salt, free salt with it too. Now, it also works above water, but you won't be able to make water, but you'll be able to make salt from air. I'll show you the outside model, because, you know, it's connected to the wall. Here it is. I like that. It even has a nice little model. They improved the model. It was not as detailed. Now it's better. So it's slowly sucking in water and converting it into uh, clean water. I might as well check these locations first. Is there any heat source near here? Probably not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera out. I was really hoping there was a thermal vent somewhere nearby. I don't see anything, unfortunately. I'll have to take the sub down. Oh, yeah. You can actually see your character through the window if you're in it with the um, cameras. That's how your character looks like. The game used to be able to deform the map, and unfortunately had to remove terraforming because it just caused a lot of memory leak issues and optimization problems. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The area Warning. went blue. Entering ecological death zone. Adding report to data bank. Yeah. When the area changes to a dark blue, that means you're at the end of the map. Don't continue on or you'll uh, pretty much screw yourself. I didn't realize I was that close to the edge of the map. Oh, Jesus. I didn't realize I was near the uh, baby ghost leviathan. Oops. It's going to attack me now. I didn't realize I was that close. Vessel counterfeit. Excessive noise. One engine overheat. Let it stand. Not these. There it is. There's one right here. One's right here. How far am I from the base? Oh, let me go out there. Do I have my repair tool by any chance? Maybe it's in the locker here. I think I left it in the locker. I'll try to repair the sub. Repairing the sub is pretty much the exact same thing you do as how you repair the, the uh, Aurora's engines. Just find the damaged parts and repair it. The cool thing what you can do is that you'll see the you can see the damage indicators through the window. So like right there, there's one in the back. on the opposite side. There it is. Go. Perfect. So I'm near the main pillar of the floater's island. Where's the base? Base is 500 meters. Oof, that's pretty far, honestly. I'll try to do this. I'm gonna need a lot of transmitters. How much heat damage am I taking while I'm doing this? Not bad, okay. Deal with this. You don't have to be exactly at the bottom, but you have to be close enough. Alright, that's okay. That looks decent enough. How much? Now, what do I need for the thermal plant? I need magnetite, aerogel, and titanium. I'll put it here as a starting thing. Whatever I can start. I have two left, so I'm gonna cut this. How many did I get? One, two, three. You get three seeds out of one, so I'm gonna plant these. And now I have four. So while those grow, I'll just take this one. Now I just need to get a whole bunch of titanium. There's like this whole bunch in this little area for whatever reason it likes spawning here. Alright, let's put it away. Here we go. I need to explore the other um, life pod markers because if I don't, the other radio messages won't trigger. 
They're, it's waiting on me to do those. That's what I haven't triggered in a long time. I think it's a good idea that I'm going there anyway because I think Blood Kill Zone 1 is over there. I think so, and I need to go there at some point because there's a couple of wrecks that have important equipment over there. Yeah, there's a wreck over here. I forgot about that. Let me check this area. I'll scan all this stuff to get the titanium. That's not a scannable part. Is that chair scannable? Let me double check. Nope. Already scanned it. Table scanned. Scanned. Thermal plant. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of lithium here too. Oh, bang! Oh no, torpedo arm. I have a million of those. Here we go. Oh, there's a data box in here, let's see. Fire support. okay. I got something for the Cyclops. Wait, I was, what's scannable here? Ah, oh, the light stick, cool. That's cool. I can pick up some of the little Bio loose. Diversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Oh, I know why. Leviathans are nearby in this location, so that's why they're low. Does this just lead to the exact same room? No, there's another data box in here. Oh, I found the reinforced diet. Great. Oh, power cell fragment. Thank you. Does this unlock it? Yes. Let's nice. give it a knife. Oh. Blueprint acquired. Great. Okay, so I, I didn't come here for no, any reason. Great. I got the power cell. I got another water. Great. Here's the other data box I saw. Vehicle upgrade. Hey, I finally got the vehicle upgrade console. Yeah, there's suit upgrades. There's two suits. Well, three suits. The radiation suit you saw. We have the reinforced dive suit gives you the maximum defense. And the still suit recycles um, water and stuff and fluids back into your system so you don't have to constantly keep rehydrating yourself. Oh, good. There's a gel sack. I need some. So I might as well pick up some. Oh, there's tiger idiots here. Oh yeah, here's this is Blood Kelp Zone A. Ah, oh, here we go, data box. Or no log entry. There we go. Integrating new PDA data. I need it. So might as well Oh, there's a tiger idiot over there. There's an egg over here. Might as well pick up the creature egg. Oh, more lithium. Let me check. This is Life Pod 19. What was in this? Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. Power cell charger. I wish it was the battery charger. Let's make that beacon. Okay. I'm gonna tr let me try to go into blood kill zone A. Yeah, anchor pods, that's what they were called. go further down. There's a couple of things I need to scan. Give me that gel sack, please. Yeah, those guys. You want to get these. These brain... What do they call Brain something? Yeah, membrane tree. These are, kind, these are cool. You can plant these. I like them. I okay, got it. Oh, there's a wreck here. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for this wreck. Yes, yes, yes. I need to make another freaking locker, though. Alright, had to mace a few things, but that's okay. Now I'm saved up space. No, not, no I don't want to take that out, because I, I get confused with that. Alright, leave everything in there. The usual lock's fine. But, oh, here's the arm. Yeah, this place has most of the prawns who drill arm fragments that I need. Now I combine with the prawn suit once I'm able to find everything. Cyclops did. Here it is. I found it. I knew this was here. I know there's, there should be. Here we go. There's a data box in here. Cyclops docking bay repair. Good. I found that. Great. A prawn suit grapple arm. Great. And that. Another nutrition block. Good. I found that one already. Oh, I found blueprint for cannon. Okay, so there was an upgrade. 
Light stick. Tychops Mark II, yeah, yeah. Mark III. Uh, let's see. Seamoth, Seamoth. Good, good, good. I unlocked all that stuff. Seamoth, so. Oh, so I did unlock it. I got all that. Upgrade, good, good. I still haven't found that. I got all the torpedoes. I need to get the grapple arm still, but at least I have the drill arm, which is the most important one. We have the mod, mod one. Repair, fire sprint. I still have to find the shield generator and sonar upgrade. If I can get these two, I can actually venture in the Lost River. I need at least the shield generator. The sonar is optional. So I found everything I needed to find. There we go. And there was another room. I had over here. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, here's the emergency door. Here we go. See, I always find it like this. It's so easy for me to find Blood Kill Zone A doing this. There used to be some funny bugs with the uh, uh, in Subnautica, like for example, see the see the metal beams on the front part of the ship? That used to render everywhere. It was see-through. It didn't matter what you were looking through, the water or the floor. It just let you see through it no matter what. It was a weird bug that I think appeared four times. They had to fix it multiple times. It was, it's pretty, it was pretty ridiculous that it kept occurring. And in fact, it occurred right before they released the... Um, but the final game, it appeared one more time. Oh, that bug was so bad too. Yeah, there was an issue with the moon pool. When you, when you go between the moon pool and the water, it's supposed to switch you to land mode, but the sea moth became hollow. So when you switch to land mode, you fell out of the moon pool into the map. And then you were walking in the water. And unfortunately, if you built your base really high up, you just fall and kill yourself. Oh, it did finish. Let's take the... Oh. I have no space. I'll just take one. How much does this do? Vital signs stabilizing. So it does half. And then this will do 100. Great. So now I know that it does that. That's great to know. I, I would like a de dedicated power management room too because I would like to be able to turn off the water filtration. You can't turn it off. That's the main drawback with it. You build it, it stays on permanently unless you disassemble it partially. It's the only way around it. Now I can store all this stuff. Thank you. Now let's try to fill up the bioreactor with at least a fair bit of stuff. Uh, no, switch container. I always gotta remember doing that. There we go. Now the bioreactor's active again. Here we go. So I need two diamonds, and now we'll, uh, I gotta find a stupid stalker tooth again. Plate steel, and everything's pretty much easy. How much power do I have left? It's a, it used to say the power over here. What, now they removed it? I gotta look at the forward console? Oh, that's no big deal, 82%. That's where it comes useful having the fabricator in both locations. You can do this. Oh, I got lucky, right here. Nice work. All right, I can make the the uh, prawn suit finally. Here we go, prawn suit. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self discipline What's funny is that the prawn suit sinks, but then it eventually stops mid-water. It's just to help. It's a convenient factor to help you, because when you first get it, it has a really crummy. Oh, they made a new model. There's more lights inside it now. Anyway, they, uh, the thrusters for the base of the suit are pretty, pretty crap, so it doesn't fly as good. Welcome aboard. So they, they pause its sinking just for the first time use. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get into the base. Oh, I have the Seamoth docked. Of course I'm not going to be able to get into the base. I'm almost out of thruster power. Can 
I hit this? Can I? Ah. Yeah, you can walk on top of the base. This is the best place to, you know, to deal with this. This is gonna use a lot of power. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Perfect. I am going to build the vehicle uh, console. What do I need to do for the vehicle console? Let's see. So your computer chip and copper wire. Oh, I got one there. That's two. I need two more. Hey, good three. Yep. Computer chip. Yep. Of course, the animation resets. All right, we can now access the upgrades for all the vehicles. So I need to make the drill arm. So I need four diamond, titanium, and lithium. I should have all that needed. I should make a platform of some kind underneath the moon pool so I have a, a safety net. So just in case if I can't get up here, it least lands on here. That's what I usually do. All right, we can make the drill arm finally. And this is where you name your everything. So, what do I name this? Let's see. Nemo. Capitalize. It looks better on the suit that way. Uh, base color is going to be this. I need to make an orange one. Name. Well, Nemo has to be a different color. It can't be black. Uh, interior would be orange or yellow this case or maybe actually white would be better because it is white the strip should be orange all right what that what does that look like that kind of looks like a clownfish all right so I have the arms let's what, what do I usually put it as that's right I like it on left Side. Yeah. This is how the drill arm looks like. Very near ore. That's the grab arm. That's the default arm. It can pick stuff up. Do I have an ore nearby that I can show you an example? Can you see? Picked up an item with that. This can technically fly, but it only can fly underwater. If you go to land, it won't function at all. Oh, here we go. Here's a perfect example. What is this? Uh, lead? Okay, I need it, so might as well do it. You know what? You know what sucks? In early versions of the drill arm, it would drill the materials, right? But then the items would fall to the floor. You'd have to manually pick it up. That means it took longer for you to drill items and pick them up than you just looking around the world and finding them as the person. So they finally made it so that the items would automatically get sucked through the drill arm itself to go into your inventory. I save because there are many times there's a glitch that every now and again that can happen is if you load the prawn suit into the Cyclops, it can cause a weird physics glitch which will either make the Cyclops fall into the map 2,000 meters down or fling it in the air. There we go. All right, she's safely docked in there. Here's how you can upgrade and access your inventory upgrades and whatnot, or the storage lockers too. This used to not be in the uh, Cyclops. You used to not be able to access the inventory of the front suit and Seamoth. You were not able to do it. Now you can. Vital signs stabilizing. See how good the water filtration unit is? Problem is, the best thing to do, of course, is to make two. I'm having a pro power problem with just one. Forget making a second one. I gotta get that thermal generator running. But how much, how many of the transmitters am I gonna need? I probably need a whole, I think I have a whole bunch of gold detectives. I don't think that's a problem. This, I just need to get two magnetites and one more aerogel. I think I have an aerogel, don't I? No, I think I had to use it. Okay, so I'll just make another one. Sleeping does not replenish your health. You have to use the health station in order to replenish your health. And speaking of health station, I haven't made one yet. 
I like that you can put it here, but I usually like putting it near the base door. Because usually this is where I come from. Fiber mesh and a computer chip. Oh, I need more copper. I do have a fish and, uh, fish egg in here. Let me hatch it in alien containment. Yeah, more, more of these guys popped in. Wait a minute, how did you get in here? Are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't want to do that. He was actually killing my fish. Well, I, I did that by mistake. Well, I, I, well, I cooked him. Might as well eat him. He caught... That was BS right there. Okay. Oh, he immediately vaporized. Oh no, he's over there. Okay. What the hell is going on? Now he's alive? What the hell is with this game sometimes? Hey, hand drop. There we go. This will hatch eventually. Okay, here's the central spire. I'll try to park it right as close as I can so that hopefully um, bone sharks don't bother it. Let's just go straight down. Thermal vent should be... Oh, there it is. I can see my platform. Oh, and I have low health, I forgot. I'm an idiot too. I haven't fixed my health in these forever. There's ores over here too. Silver ore. Full ores. Let's finish this off. Perfect. Alright. So we have 74C, which is. Oh, I got a life pot. I built this. Oh, they added a couple extra lights. Alright, this platform has power. I need to make this. How far can I go from you? Not far. This is life pod 2 coordinates attached. Oh, now I get the We're life way past our safe depths and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. That's another location where you get the Mark One module for the depth of the Cyclops. All right, let's try to make another emitter. How far can I make this one? Oh, there's a thermal vent in over here to notice. That doesn't matter. As long as I can keep getting power. This goes, I remember they go far now. Oh, hang on, I just lost signal. All right, can I go to the floor? Yep, go to the floor. That's one. So I'm transmitting power through the floor. Yeah, it lets you do that, I don't know why. Let's go head up. Oh, a uranite crystal uh, ores right here. Oh, no, I think that's gold, actually. Is that gold? That's two. That's actually, yeah, it's gold. We're not far. We're not far from the base. 400 meters. Oh, I lost signal. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. This is so close. 280 meters. I think that was the third one. This is my fourth. Ah. Uh. Okay. Still can do it. One ninety meters. One eighty. One sixty. Ah.
We're almost there. One hundred meters. Come on, make it, make it, make it. I should be able to do this. I should be able to do this. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, please. I think I'm just in range. I think. Find a place that this agrees on. It should make it. Yes! I made it. Now my base has a power level of 825. See, now I'm able to keep up with the water filtration unit. And since it's at nighttime, it'll be better in the day. 